I'm Alex Angelo with the Spartan Update, and we're back for Senior Ear. This time, I'm here with... Eva. And... Ethan Walk. Alrighty. So now, halfway into our senior year, for all of us. Sorry. So, my first question would be, <coughs> uh, what do you think was, like, your... Or something you took for granted... Uh, throughout your four years, and now that you're in your senior year, you look back on it thinking, wow, I should have enjoyed that more, anything like that? Nothing. Because I live life to the fullest. <laughs> nah, seriously, though. I don't really regret Like, maybe I'm soccer season. Something. Nah, like soccer season, probably hanging out with the team this year, senior year, last year. Maybe doing things more or doing, like, some things less. I don't know. But, you know, no regrets. No regrets. It's on my chest. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Looking at you. Me? Um, Probably, like, family. Like, spending more time with, like, my mom and, like, dad. Low-key, yes. And, like, my little yeah. brother. Because I feel like during, like, all throughout high school, I've always been, like, not like never home, but like I'm always like with friends, I'm always out doing something. And like I never really like spend time with my family. And now that like I'm about to leave and then like never see them for like two or three months, it's kind of like, what am I gonna do? That's a fact. Yeah, I, I could agree with that. I mean like it's for me, it happened earlier. Cause like, um, I don't know, freshman, sophomore year, I feel like I was kind of in my own shell. And like, I like, no, I'm so serious. Like be corn, like, Laugh all you want. Like, I like, I don't know. And I feel like junior year, I kind of lost that. And then with that, I just, I don't know. Like, I started hanging out with a lot more people. Shout out NA. Um, and it was just, I don't know, it was better for me. And I just wish I took that, like, earlier. And then I decided to do that earlier. And hopefully it could have been a longer time. But I wonder who um got you out of your shell. I don't know what you're talking about. Might have, might have been me. No, um, I think it was me. me. Oh God, you were the last person. You're I, the one who, you're the one who kept him in his shell. No, what? Am I, I started I, Beach right? Vibes. Oh. Beach Vibes was not where I broke <laughs> out of my shell. <laughs> it was an A. I would like to take a little bit of responsibility for. I mean, like, yeah, Alex. It started with expanding his um, friend group. Like, yeah, the start of the expansion was him and Kevin Dioria. Hi, Kevin. And Eva. Okay, move on. I don't want to hear your voice right. anymore. Um, ooh, I'm kind of stuck here. Stuck in a maze. Talk about Actually, college. that's a pretty good one. Maze? Yeah. I was going to say, what do you think throughout high school has been, like, your anthem? Like, what do you listen to all of high school? Or, like, a person or an artist? Like, if you were to say one person right, that, my, my that you're going to look back on 25 years from now, and when that song comes on the radio, you're going to be like, yo. I hope it's Juice World. <laughs> I really hope it, it is. Uh -huh. But, like, he didn't. He wasn't around freshman or sophomore year. Actually, kind end, of sophomore. End of sophomore year. End of sophomore year, yeah. Year, yeah. No, yeah, end of sophomore year, we went to the concert. Um, That's so true. Eva could not go to that, by the <laughs> oh, way. Oh, I got grounded that weekend. Me, Eva bought me the tickets and then didn't go. I got nah, rounded I'm, that My music changes every year. It's always rap, but, yeah. you know, new artists come out of nowhere. So I think freshman year, it was, like, freshman year was, like, Lil Uzi. And, like, his, like, his like three albums he dropped in, like, three months. <coughs> so we all were, like, fire. listening to those. That was, like, soccer season, so we were all listening to those. Um, sophomore year. Please like, drop EA. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. <laughs> anyway, before I was interrupted, sophomore year was probably, like, take a <laughs> <laughs> so year was, was one song. <laughs> sophomore year was definitely like the race by TK, just because it was the race. Like mm -hmm. everybody, everybody listened to the free TK, free TK. I don't know if you guys know this, but TK is in jail for murder. The person he murdered, his name is Ethan Walker. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's so love, so bro. Love. Cam Johnson got what? Dude, that's crazy, though. Cam Johnson got drafted at 11. He killed someone named Ethan Walker. Like, that could have been me. I don't live in Texas, though, but... Wait, are you actually, like... Never mind. So you go answer the question. 
That's a goddamn question. So, like music? You mean like one person? Well, I don't really listen to like one person. Like, nobody listens to one person. It's kind of just like I'm like everywhere. Like right now, I listen to country. Or like ew. I'm so sorry if you listen to country, but ew. You guys ever seen Asian person listening to country music? No. Uh, And then like. Congrats. Other times it's kind of just like camp rock, like big time rush. Like it's like all like it depends on the mood and who you're with. Embarrassed to be here now. I'm sorry. Dude, Disney Channel songs. Slaps. Low key fire. (laughs) All right. So now, shifting gears. Um, college. Where'd you guys get accepted, maybe? Um, where do you guys hope to get accepted? Stuff like that. Uh, I'll go first. I haven't got accepted anywhere. <laughs> I'm extremely scared. Please accept me. I... Yeah, Maryland. Maryland, Tulane, anyone. Just accept me. I got into three schools out of my 11. Stanford. <laughs> get it, because she's... Oh, shit. Um, I got into Westchester. Same. Stockton. I got into Westchester. And last night, I got into Rowan. Yay! What for? Like, what? Actually, you know um, what? Major? You know what would be really cool right now? If I check my email. Into their business accounting major. And there's an acceptance letter. I'll check so mine. I'm going to check my school email right now. I'm going to check mine right now, too. So, so far, I've only Answer got... Answer the question, Eva, I've only for gotten what? into... Their business accounting program. That's cool. You can just cut me off. So, like, what do you want to do, like, with business, though? Like... It's fine. You can just cut Hopefully, me off. I marry rich. Then so why, like, all right, why go to school for business? This might start some controversy. But it's it's easier for a girl to say I want to marry rich, like and girls guy. girls can marry if you're pretty you can marry rich. I'm a guy I I'll, can't marry. You don't rich. have to be pretty. To First marry off, rich. I'll marry rich. I want to marry like, rich. Are you serious? But then I feel like that's I would just be the baby. I, yeah, I gotta be like the stay at home dad. I would. Why do people find that a problem? If like I mean it'd be fun. Like that's what I'm saying. Like if let's okay, say okay I got no email. Let's I didn't say get you anywhere. find a woman that you're like I just got into Tulane. Cap. Thank you. Cap. <clears throat> but, okay, so let, let, let's say you find a woman that's, like, loaded. And, like, she's everything. Why wouldn't you just marry her and then live off what she does? Like, I don't understand. I'm, I'm saying. seeing a problem in you that. You can. And people are like, I would never do that. Why? I would do Bro, that. Bro, are you serious? Like, you stay at home with your kids? Play like, FIFA? That's so... Sick. Even though it's gonna be like FIFA 30 by the time that's around. Have what? you guys? FIFA ever- 30. You're gonna get married. At- <coughs> oh yeah, you're gonna have kids. Oh my god. Ten years. We're doing ten years. We're gonna have kids. <gasps> we're gonna be what? 20- Yo. 28. We're gonna have. Well, some. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Oh my, Think about in ten years. In a, in a decade's ten years, right? Yeah. Ooh. A decade, ten years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In a decade, I'm gonna have a little little Johnny. Guys, I can see Mark Shell trying to peep into this, so don't. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, Mark, gosh. He's upset we didn't invite him into this. I mean, I mean like, he shouldn't have came in late. He would have been in here. I don't really, like, see a problem in, like, someone, like, marrying rich. Like, a guy. But, like, I'm it's just kind of, like, it's going to be hard marrying a girl who's, like, young and rich. She's probably going mean, like, to be, like, a little older. I mean, if her parents are loaded. Well, no, like, what if she's, like, a little older? Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> Six years, two years. I don't care. No, but like yes, you do. ten years. Whoa. So when I'm twenty eight, she's thirty eight. That's Whoa. Enough for me. Or like Whoa. or like when you're like twenty eight, twenty nine, and then she's like forty, fifty. Like have what you do ever seen take se- me for? Have you like ever seen the movie um I think it's I forget what it's called, but it's on Netflix. So if you're twenty eight and, and like, she's forty. Like it's That like, means when she's sixteen, you're, you're four. four. You you graduate she, uh, she graduated high school the year you started first grade. <laughs> oh my god. That would literally be like, never mind, I'm not gonna say that. Like, that'd be like me with like my little cousin. Whoa! She's like seven. <laughs> Wait, no, how oh old is she? God. No, four is not first grade. Yeah. No, no, I'm just taking the comparison. Like, that's 12 years of difference. Like, first grade to yeah, senior my, year. What is my cousin? She's seven. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, like, it's, it's not like weird, but then like. That is weird. That's extremely No, weird. but, like, you have to realize that some people do this. Like, All right, so I mean, whoever's like, watching okay. this, can we get Eva checked out? Let's go. Let's <laughs> like, check her DMs. Let's <laughs> check her phone. Let's check where she was recently. <laughs> let's get a restraining order so she cannot be within 50 feet of a child park. 
Like, Child hold on. <laughs> All right, we don't want to go on Netflix. Can you ask the next question? Yeah. Okay. Let me find it. So, so now Cut on to you out. though. We were talking about her college acceptance and what she wants to do. Now over to you. All right. So, I've applied to like eight schools. I'm not gonna name them all. I'll name like three. Name a few. All right. I'll name them all actually. <laughs> I applied to Rowan, Monmouth, Temple, Temple Tough, um, Westchester, which is the only school I got into so far. So. Um, when did you apply to Rowan? I don't know. Check your acceptance. You probably got in. Madison and I both got in over the weekend. Whatever. Um, I applied, sick. applied to FAU and Charleston. So. What's your number one? Oh, Delaware. Delaware's my number one. You down? Yeah. I applied to I Delaware. I applied to Utah. I applied Never to Delaware. Never mind. It's not my number one anymore. Okay. That's if we like, like, we applied to Delaware. We applied to Delaware. We. And um, I think I put in for my major and all of them. I think I put in communications. And like a minor in like business, but I already know it's gonna change. I'm gonna be like sitting in my dorm one day reading a magazine. I'm gonna be like, that looks cool. I wanna put my that's my major. <laughs> that's what my mom did. I mean, like my dad was telling me how he had a college roommate his freshman Yo, year. Did we ask? I don't care. Okay. Oh. Okay. So like, what your dad do in college? There you go. I asked now. Now you could. Okay, so he had a roommate freshman year, and uh, he said that he changed his major. Within the first two months, six times. Wow. That's something I hope I do not do. Note to future self, don't change your major ten times. Like, that's just I mean, like, but this is my thing. If you're not happy in it, why stay in it? Because then what's going to happen is you're going to work work your that's tail off. so stressful. No, but though. you're going to work your tail off in something that you don't love. Like, my thing is pick something you actually like to do because then it won't feel like work. Yes, exactly. That's what I think. I think money is not – I don't want to say not important because it's important, but – like do why? Like do why be a doctor just because you can make all that money? That's what I'm saying. You, like don't really like it. That is what I'm like, saying. Like why are you like f- feel like you're being forced into it? Exactly. Egg. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Hopefully, I get into Rutgers or Penn State. We are. Penn State. Unranked. We are. Um. Penn State. All right. So. Uh, you're, where, do you, uh, where do you want to go? Me? Maryland. Maryland. I don't know, dude. Maryland, like, Tulane, or Delaware? Like, I have a bunch of, like, I had a bunch of reaches. I applied to a lot. I applied to, like, 12, 13 schools. It's just a waste of money. I mean, like, it's not, though, because, like, I applied. I don't care. If, like, some of them, like, I know I'm not getting in, but I, it's the fact that, like, I say it all the time. If they accidentally say yes instead of no and then send it back and then they can't go back on that. Like, imagine how dope that would be. Like, I applied to Stanford. Not going to get in. But imagine, you know, admits, admissions director is like, no, 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 no. Oh, my finger slipped. <laughs> and it's like, all of a sudden I'm going to Stanford. And then I fail out within the first semester. That's that's so true. Like, that would be so sick. Like, you would actually fail out. A hundred percent. Like, you're smart, but you would fail out. A hundred percent I'd fail out. If um, you would fail out, they'd throw me to the street. I would walk in, they'd be like, ah. Loser. Chump. <laughs> but, like, my, my tops are Tulane, um, Maryland, Syracuse, and uh, UMass. And then... Oh, I got I, two of them right. And then, what's it called? Delaware's also up there. Three. Uh, so, I don't know. Tulane's going to be hard. I, I, I know. 20... And we in New Orleans. Acceptance rate. Damn. Michael Thomas. But like, I just don't understand why. Like. Oh, you don't know that video, never mind. (laughs) Like, I don't understand why. Like, when we apply for all these colleges, we have to pay to send our SAT scores again. Like, I paid to take it, and I'm paying to send it. Because the world wants your money. But like. Like, what are you surprised about? Sorry. You pay to go to school too. You don't, and it's not like equivalent to the amount of knowledge you get. Nothing's free. Nothing's not, fair. Not, that's actually. true, though. Yeah, nothing is fair. Life's not fair. This world isn't fair. I mean, it's probably, never mind. I'm going to say that. Uh, We're going to keep on the educational level. Next question. Okay. So. Honky, honky. All right, so you guys know your colleges. Hold up. <laughs> Just cough, bro. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, so Thank you. you guys like know where you applied, what you, like what you're gonna major. What do you guys want to do afterwards? Like, whoa, 
that's four years. Well, away. I mean, like you guys picked your major because of what do you want your occupation? But you don't pick your major just for school. So like, what um, what do you think like, or like, a few examples or a broader type of spectrum of like, what you think you want to do after? Um, I hope to be the school. next Stephen A. Smith, and that's like true. I wrote one of my college essays on Stephen A. Smith about a person that I find, like, either admirable. And I was, like, so smart with it because I was, like, I find him admirable, yet, like, he also does things that I, like, would fix myself to like make this, myself a better version of him. This is blasphemy. It, w- it was so good, dude. Sent that to Syracuse. Accept me. Um, I hope they read that letter and they're just like, we don't want to read about Stephen A. Smith. I mean, like, give me give me a chance. <laughs> Imagine being that person that has to read all the letters. Well, they want to do that. That could be my job. You get paid mad. Yeah, they do get paid a lot. But, like, they also don't read the entire thing. They read the hook. They read They read to see, like, if it's, like, different or if it's, like, you know. If mine it's, like, was mine, different. My essay is pretty different, not going to lie. My Which essay one? was so good. Which one? Your big essay? Yeah. Called it. Pretty big essay. <laughs> anyway. That story is on another podcast. So um, if you go back and check our uh, <coughs> senior older, year. Po- older senior year podcast, you can find Ethan's story. True story. Find out my story on the Make a Wish Foundation. Oh, God. All right. So I always wanted to be on one of those. Me, what? Even though like, I'm what do you want to do after think I- school? Um, Probably first. Well, okay. So. Accounting, I feel like I would have to do in, like, either, like, a big city. So probably after, if I go to Rutgers or Penn State, hopefully I'll get an internship with the school and then start from there and then just go wherever. Hmm. Your turn. You want to do accounting? I wish you luck. Thank you. I don't know. For me, like, sitting at desk 24-7? I don't care. I feel like I'm going to end up switching my major, but I really want to do something in, like, business. Like maybe change it to business finance. I don't want to do anything where I have to sit at a desk all day. I don't have that patience. I want to be doing this on camera. Like, you can also Hello. be, like, running Tyree around. Kill has just been arrested. Tyree, why do you got to do that to me, bro? I needed 10 points from you. Freak week. I needed 10. Freak week. And you get hurt. Ah. Karma, dude. That's what happens. But, nah, I want to be that person, you know... I want to be, you know, if anybody here watches NFL Red Zone, that guy has the best job. You cannot tell me he doesn't. He sits there, watches things, and then literally just says, okay, we're going to switch channels and go to this one. No, I feel like, I feel like for like fans Scott of Scott fo- Hansen, that's his name? Whatever. Fans of football, it's not as good because like, I don't think he's actually watching the games. He's reading a teleprompter, dude. Like, he can't, he can't focus on watching and then reading at the same time. So I feel like if you're a fan of football, like yeah, but the it, time it he's not, fun. the time he's not on camera, when they're showing the game, yeah, he's watching. I guess. That's Unless right. it's pre-recorded. That has to be one of the dumbest <laughs> things. It's pre-recorded, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Fantasy pre, fantasy's pre-recorded. The entirety of the NFL. That's why that guy. So when I went to the game last or su- uh, two, it was already pre-played. So- so I'm watching a simulation. Yeah. You're watching a replay. <laughs> That's crazy. You're watching a replay that was hasn't like been live streamed yet. 3D lights. Nope. Just come in. Nope. Like what I said was dumb, and then she just made it even more stupid. All right. So we got to close this. So anything you guys want to say before we're done? Um, Good luck. Yes. To, to any to incoming freshmen. And freshmen to all now. our seniors who are getting into colleges. Hopefully you go where you want to go. Yeah, hope and you hopefully your dream school. Your parents don't force you to go anywhere that you don't want to go. Are you trying to imply something? Yeah. Where do they want you to go? College of Beijing. No. They oh. literally they like I don't want like I'm not trying to say like roasting mammoth, but like that's like the last place that like I want to go. Like it's too close. That's one of my top choices. I like mammoth. But I like the area. Like so. I think it's too close to me and like because of how my parents are, I know that they're going to, like, want me to just commute rather than live on campus, and that's not what I want to do. Like, I want the full experience. My parents want the opposite. They're like, leave. Yeah, like, my oh, parents yeah. are like, stay home. Like, they literally went, if you go to Rutgers and you commute, like, we'll buy you a new car, like, a brand new, any car you want. I'm like, no, I want to live on campus. 
Okay, I would live at home for like the first year and then be like, okay, I got the new car. It, you can't do that. Yeah, you can. Dude, there's no, it, you only live at school for two years. Your freshman and your sophomore. Junior year, you live off campus anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I, I want to live on campus. Uh, I want to live on campus. Yeah. Granted, have you seen those dorms? Like, have you seen, like, you guys been on college tours. Did they show you the dorms? Yes, yeah, some of them are them nice. Them boys are nasty. Some of them are nice. Dude, no, Rowan. Rowan? Oh, my gosh. Dude, Their Rowan's new dorms. dorms are so nice. It's Why? air conditioned. It looks like a hotel. You walk in, and it's, like, the key. It's, it's new. like, a tap. It's all new. It's And then, like, the bathrooms, like, the mirrors light up. There's, like, a light around the mirror. Oh, my God. The mirrors while I can do my makeup. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So, but no, to anybody uh, applying, good luck. hope you get into your schools. Can you stop talking over me? I'm better than you. Okay. Okay. Wow. Anybody applying to schools, I wish you luck. Hope you get into your dream schools. Anybody coming into high school or a freshman now, even sophomores, uh, make the most out of every opportunity you get because – Senior year is going to come, and you're going to start crying yourself to sleep every night. Wow. All right. So, I'm still Alex Anziola, and that's senior year with Eva. This isn't senior year. Yeah, it is. Redo that. I'm keeping that in just to show everybody. <laughs> so, I'm Alex Anziola. I'm still Alex Anziola, just like I was in the beginning. And that was senior year with... Eva and Ethan can't walk.